What's up, YouTube? You know who this is. This is Journeyman Trucking coming at you. Um, I had just did a uh, live video, but I accidentally erased it. So I got to do a video over again. So for y'all, for some of y'all who started watching it or was watching it now, you're about to watch it again. But anyway, <laughs> just joking. But uh, but seriously, uh, what I was talking about previously was uh, um. JB Hunt hooked me up with a with a nice run going from uh, Louisville, Kentucky to uh, Seattle, Washington. I'm trying to tell you, I did a total of like 20, 26, between, I think it was 26, 2700 miles. It took me, it took me almost a week because during that time I had a breakdown I um I went through three inspections <laughs> during the whole run. But anyway, let me just start from the beginning. So um I did uh after I dropped off my previous load, I, I did uh damn it's hot. I did three hundred miles to go to Louisville, Kentucky to uh to pick up my um my load from PPNG. And um uh, when I got there I found out that my 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 load was hazardous, and let me remind you, I just got my hazardous license endorsement. Man, you should have seen me out like that. I was like, oh shit! My first hazmat load, and I had to go uh, 2,600 miles. I was like, god. So I already knew that uh, my. Uh, My load wasn't um, pre, well, not my load, but my route wasn't pre-planned, so I had to pretty much route myself all the way there. So what I did, I, I got smart with it. I um, I um, I went ahead and put in the address. Once I put in the address, it popped up, so I cross-referenced the the route to my atlas and made sure. I went on like in the in the atlas it shows like all the orange lines for hazmat loads or where you can go with hazmat. You know what I'm saying? Or where you know where where truckers can drive, period. So I cross-referenced that and once I cross-referenced that, it showed me where where I can go and where I can't go. So so once I did that I felt pretty good and um I end up uh, calling them my fleet man. So I like I told them like, yo, this this load, did you know it was hazmat? They're like, no. Sometimes you know the company they'll do that right there. I'm like, man, good God Almighty. Anyway, he ended up doing a review. Um, he went over everything, made sure I had my placards, um, made sure my load was tied down. My load wasn't tied down. Um, I once I finished uh, getting unloaded. I went ahead and seal and, and closed and sealed up the damn back of the truck without strapping it down. So I had to had to pull the seal off, go get a um, a strap, or drop the trailer and run and go get a strap. That you know delayed me a little bit. That, all that all that comes with you know you know you, you live and you learn. It's my first load, so so um, next time I know I got a has been load, you got to strap it down. So end up um, getting that. Bringing it back, got a new seal, strapped it down. And, um, fleet manager made sure I had all my placards. I had four placards. You know, if you know about hazmat, you gotta have two on each side, one in the front, one in the back. Placards. All of them got to be the same. All of them got to be. Uh, you gonna tape them down? They got to be with, uh, with uh, clear tape. Can't have duct tape, none of all that shit like that because you get pulled for that. But uh, so that went pretty smooth. And um, let's see. Once I once I got rolling, I got I got pulled over three times, three times. Two at way station and um, but no, I'm sorry. Yeah, all of, all of them was at the way station. Anyway, every time every time I got uh, pulled over, they did a full inspection. Well, well, actually, I got two full inspections and then. Yeah, one of them was just about my license plate. But let me tell you about those. My license plates, when I first got this tractor, 
Um, I didn't notice the damn tractor didn't have license plates on it. So, I got pulled for that. <laughs> and when I got pulled for that, the uh, cop said I was speeding. But, you know, I, I wasn't speeding. And, and I was in a damn work zone. And, um... I think the reason I got out, I got out of that because I was I was you know I was nice and I stayed I stayed positive and I told it I told the damn state trooper that you know it was two trucks ahead of me and it was a car beside me you know how how, how you know you know that I was speeding but anyway to make a long story short she uh she came back she gave me a warning and then she told me how to get my uh how to how to get my uh, temporary uh, piece of paper so I can keep driving. So I had to end up calling J.B. Hunt, and J.B. Hunt hooked me up with a piece of paper, a temp, a temp, temp uh, tags, until um, those come in. I actually just got an email, and, you know, my, ta my tags are in now. So I just got to go pick them up after, after I um, go home um, this week. Anyway, getting back to the story, um, I got pulled over a uh, total of three times, um, two times. Was um, I had uh, full inspections, two full damn inspections. I'm like, man, good God Almighty, hazmat load. You gotta be on, you gotta be on your damn, your P's and Q's with that. You gotta make sure you ain't speeding. You gotta make sure you can, you don't go down the wrong damn road. You go down the wrong road, you might get a ticket, a high five thousand dollar ticket. Also, you gotta avoid tunnels. Huh? Tunnels. I had to avoid. I'm, I'm like, I'm jumping ahead of the story. But anyway. The first, um, the first time I got pulled, I went to a weight station. They pulled me over. Old man was pretty, pretty nice. Um, went inside. Um, he wanted to make sure I had all my hazmat papers. Uh, make sure I had my license. Make sure I had uh, um, IFTA. That's the inter international fair tax. Something, 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 something. IFTA. So I had all that. So then, went outside. He, you know, did check my lights, check my brakes. He went up. He, uh, he made me pull into a, this big ass barn. Y'all probably seen him on the highway. He went up under my track to check my brakes like that. So he came back out. He said, "All right, Mr. Cooper, everything looks good. You pass a fool." I'm like, "What? Thank you." Shoot the man hand and everything. And then he put like a little sticker up here. Let me show you. 